Um, hi guys, uh, this is Sushant Kochar. Uh, today we are going to talk about what intensity is. Uh, uh, I would not uh, try to give any sort of definition of intensity and I would also uh, try not try to give you um, uh, tell you about some measuring scale with which you can uh, measure intensity I will um, rather give you an example with which you can feel what intensity is because I personally understand intensity on the basis of feeling uh, of the word so I'll try to make it easier for you by making you feel what the word means so let's say I'm exercising and this is my hand and as a part of that exercise my hand is going to be moving let's say uh, when I started my hand was stationary mm, so I will say that the, my, the, the intensity is kind of zero uh, now I am moving my hand so this intensity is more than the intensity when it was stationary okay so this is more than when it was stationary now I am moving my hand faster now it is going this exercise is more intense now I'm moving the hand uh, even faster now this exercise is more intense now I'm moving it as fast as I can this was very intense so that is how we feel intensity intense more intense very intense highly intense so that is how we feel intensity so uh, I, I don't think if there is a measurement for it, I feel it and I try to make you feel what intensity is. Uh, among the, amongst the gym goers, um, uh, people doing weight training, they also would be, you would come across people saying uh, the amount of weight that they lift in the gym as intensity. For example, if I am uh, lifting 10 kgs dumbbell and uh, now I lift 15 kg dumbbell, I would say that uh, my intensity has increased. So that is a term usually used uh, when talking, that is a term usually used when talking about weight training. Mm. Uh, apart from that, intensity is uh, how you can feel it the way I just explained by that and uh, sharing example. Uh, adding to what I Intent, a human body cannot be performing very highly intense uh, movements for long periods of time uh, due to human body's constraints. Uh, for example, I cannot be performing sprint for an hour. Uh, I can be running at my maximum speed for maybe 30 seconds, 1 minute or maybe, maybe 2 minutes but then my speed will come down. I cannot be uh, doing movements at my full speed, for example, I cannot be doing like this for one hour. My hand will slow down. So human body, as per the natural constraints it has got, cannot be performing um, highly intense movements uh, for long durations of time. That is one thing. Second thing, that uh, generally, um, I would say, I would say virtually all the time, uh, if you perform an exercise with high intensity, if you perform an exercise with high intensity, then after you have stopped performing that uh, exercise, you will still be burning energy, um, most probably fat. So, uh, when you do high intensity uh, movements, uh, even for, sh uh, if for short periods of time, you will end up uh, burning energy even after you have stopped performing those movements. Uh, those are the two things I wanted to add to what intensity is. Um, uh, if you like this video, please like it, put any comments if you have any questions or suggestions or feedback. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you want to receive notification for my future videos, you can turn the notifications on.